Chris, without a hint of irony, the president said today that Rudy Giuliani will get his facts straight when it comes to, to Stormy Daniels because he hasn't been on the job long. And, and Giuliani issued a clarification. What should we make of all this? Well, I think that the big point of the clarification was that Giuliani, in one of many interviews he did, suggested that perhaps one of the reasons that President Trump repaid Michael Cohen for the hush money to Stormy Daniels was political and that it was in just in the final weeks of the campaign and it would have been very damaging to the campaign. That would raise the whole question as to whether this falls under a campaign finance violation either by President Trump or Michael Cohen. So today Giuliani said this had nothing to do with politics. It was purely personal in the president trying to safeguard his reputation against this scurrilous claim by Stormy Daniels. They're trying to get it out of the campaign finance area. That doesn't mean that they'd be off the hook because there's still the issue of financial disclosure, which every federal official, including the president, has to do. And the president never said that he owed $130,000 in effect in a, that was loaned by uh, Michael Cohen, the president's personal lawyer, when he paid off Stormy Daniels. But it's an effort to at least clean up that one area in what Giuliani has been telling the media this week, clean up on aisle three. Yeah. How extraordinary to hear a former federal prosecutor like Rudy Giuliani refer to the FBI agents who raided uh, Cohen's office and home as stormtroopers. That hasn't gotten that much reaction, but it seems rather extraordinary to me. Well, no, it is extraordinary, particularly when you consider the sense, one, the, the FBI agents didn't just go in. They had to go get a court order and persuade a federal judge that they needed to go in because there was sufficient likelihood that a crime would be committed if they went in with a subpoena. Uh, and in addition, Michael Cohen has said they went in very respectfully. They didn't tear anything didn't down. They didn't break open doors. It was all done very nicely. So. I, I think the real point here, if you, if you want to talk about the bottom line this week, is I think that Rudy Giuliani, the president's new private lawyer and the head of his private legal team, and President Trump have made a calculated decision that Mueller at some point is going to come after them and that this has become as much a political fight as a legal fight and that they are trying to marshal President Trump's base to oppose whatever it is that Mueller comes at them with. Yeah, meantime, some good news for the president, it would seem, in Virginia today where that federal judge really went after Mueller's team saying, look, you don't care about Paul Manafort. What you're really after is the president and, and unfettered power. Well, that's right. And this was a federal judge in a courtroom in Alexandria. They were having a hearing on the Paul Manafort case. That goes back to all manner of things that, that Manafort apparently did financially uh, back as far uh, long ago as 2005 and six. And in fact, it turned out, the judge pointed out, that there was a prior FBI investigation and that got folded into uh, the Mueller investigation. And he's saying, you're just getting the kitchen sink so you can throw it at Paul Manafort so you can try to pressure him enough that he'll flip and give you bad uh, information, you know, damaging information on President Trump. Uh, the federal prosecutors were not happy to be schooled this way, and you could raise the possibility, that was certainly, it was just a hearing, it wasn't a decision, that some of those charges against Manafort could be dropped, which would do the exact opposite of what he's saying the special counsel wants. It would lessen the pressure on Manafort. Yeah. President Trump spoke to the NRA this afternoon, an adoring crowd, and to your point about the political aspect of all this, uh, those folks don't seem to be bothered about what's going on in Washington at all. No, they love it. They love this president. Uh, they love the fact that uh, this is either the third or fourth consecutive year that he has spoken in person to the NRA. Uh, nobody, I, uh, uh, Wayne LaPierre could not have made a, a stronger defense of the Second Amendment than he did. And again, look, this is an issue the president believes in. The NRA was very supportive of him in the 2016 campaign. I think he genuinely believes in these issues, but it seems that the president is going to make the Mueller investigation, more of a political issue, and as I say, to rally his base, because this could end up as an impeachment fight in Congress. And at that point, you know, in a sense, the, the members of, of first the House and then the Senate will be his jurors. So he's got, he's got to try to uh, build as much support as he can in the jury box. Yeah. One last question, if you don't mind. Uh, during his media rounds, Rudy Giuliani more or less announced that three Americans would be released by North Korea. Do we know where that stands at this moment? 
Well, there have been reports, and I don't know that it's been fully clarified, that the, the three people that had been detained for some period of time in North Korea have been taken out of labor camps and have been brought to Pyongyang. And it certainly seems possible that as kind of a good faith gesture, they could be released uh, at, at the time of the announcement of the, the timing and the place of the Trump-Kim summit. The president today said that we have decided on a time and a place. So I think it's pretty likely that whether it's this weekend or early next week, this is all going to get announced. And if there was the release of those three Americans, that would be a little icing on the cake. Yeah. Another extraordinary week, of course. What do you have coming up this weekend on Fox News Sunday? Well, first of all, you know, with all the talk about North Korea and Iran and all of those things, and we will get to that, the big story this week is the president's legal problems and the very aggressive tone taken by his new chief lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. We're going to be talking about that with Joe DeGeneva, former U.S. attorney, briefly on the president's legal team and a strong defender of the president. And he's going to debate Lanny Davis, who was a special counsel to Bill Clinton during his legal problems. They see almost everything entirely differently, including can a president be subpoenaed? Can a president be indicted? We'll talk to both of them. And then on the big foreign policy issues, like what seems almost certain to be a Trump-Kim summit and a deadline next week for whether the president is going to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal, we'll talk to the chair of the House Armed Services Committee. That's Mac Thornberry. So a very busy Fox News Sunday, and who knows what's going to happen between now and then. Exactly. And we'll be watching. Chris, thanks. Russ, thank you.